businesses throughout the Garden State are struggling with finding skilled workers. Restaurants especially are having a tough time with staffing. Second Chance New Jersey is a unique program created to help both restaurants and previously incarcerated individuals. The program provides specialized training and jobs for successful graduates. I spoke with Second Chance New Jersey's executive director, Jim Flynn, about why the program is not only good for the trainees, but why it's good for business. So Jim, tell me about Second Chance New Jersey. When did it start? And tell me a little bit about who it serves. So it, it started back in 2020. I, I uh, run Jersey Shore Restaurant Week. So I have contact with a lot of area chefs and restaurants. And uh, we were sitting around one day and, and everybody was kind of lamenting the difficulty they were having in, in finding people to work in the kitchen. Um, and then as the pandemic um, progressed, it got even worse. Um, and it made it very, very difficult for them to operate on a daily basis because they were shorthanded all the time. So somebody came up with the idea of possibly um, recruiting people who'd been previously incarcerated um, and training them to work in area kitchens. And after we did some research, we, we found out a couple of things. One is that the recidivism rate in New Jersey is pretty high. It's over 40%. Um, and a large part of the reason for that is that people that come out of, out of jail uh, have a very difficult time finding employment. Um, and if, if you think about it, every application that's out there says, have you ever been in jail or have you ever been convicted of a crime? Mm -hmm. And as soon as you say yes, um, then and then pretty much shut the whole thing off. So we, we started from that basis and we went to Monmouth County Vocational uh, School and we asked them to put together a, uh, a training program. Now they, they do the culinary program for uh, Monmouth County high school students and they also do the Brookdale program for uh, community college. Um, and so they put together a, an eight week training program that would teach these people the basics of working in a kitchen. And at the end of the eight week period, they would be uh, qualified to be a prep cook in a local kitchen. Um, and then we went to a whole bunch of restaurants and we said, would you guys be willing to hire these people if we train them and get them ready to work in your kitchen? And a large number of them said yes. And so uh, we're now in our third class and um, all of the people that have graduated so far are working and have full-time jobs. And Jim, how is this program funded? We began with a grant from uh, New Jersey Reentry uh, Re Corporation uh, and from the Department of Corrections. Um, and going forward, we're on our, uh, we just got approved for a second grant from the Department of Corrections. And then we also solicit uh, private donations and donations from companies and corporations and so forth. What has this done to many of the candidates in this program? Has it been a confidence booster? Has it been, you know, hope for many of them to have that second chance that many of them want so badly? I think what, what you see the most is when we graduate a class, the class cooks a dinner on the final night when we give out awards and everything. And we invite people from our organization and the, and the school. But more importantly, we invite family members of the students. And it's about the most gratifying thing you'll ever see because it's the first time in a long time a lot of these family members have been proud of their sons or daughters. Jim Flynn, thank you for joining me on BizBeat. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.